every morning with drive Been on the grind, know I had to survive We had to win Started from the dirt and the rubble I had to be the needle that was popping your bubble Hello once again and welcome to the Rookie Prospect Profile Series, folks. This is a Zilla Fantasy Elite production. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that subscribe button if you love these machine learning models. Appreciate the view. Today we're going to be looking at prospect Evan Hall, the running back, was drafted number 176 by the Indianapolis Colts. They're coming to you out of Northwestern University in a Big Ten conference. Looking at some of the physical traits for Evan Hall, we can see that he comes in at 5 foot 10 and 209 pounds, giving us a pretty even BMI of 30.0. He does have that nice 40 time of 44.47, giving us a solid speed score of 104.7. Putting some of these physical traits in to the R Studio model along with their college numbers, we do get a prospect score of 13.472, which ranks number 131 overall, which is a 57.7 percentile prospect out of the 310 running backs in the R Studio models database. So shifting over to see who are the closest comparables to Evan Hall's prospect score of 13.472, we can see that the next closest better than him, Kenyon Drake. Christine Michael, Damian Williams, Rashad Jennings, Bilal Powell. And then the next five closest below, James Cook, Jalen Samuels, Alexander Madison, Joshua Kelly, Jackie Battle. Pretty interesting here, I think, amongst all of the prospects that we did in the R prospect model. Uh, he was pretty much unique in terms of the five closest. There's a lot of people that were very similar in our prospect scores. Evan Hall just fell into a range that pretty much no one else did in this particular class. Not saying it's great, not saying it's bad, but he has pretty unique uh, comparables there. Looking at this, so there's a lot of people that have been pretty successful. Damian Williams, uh, Rashad Jennings, Blau Powell to an extent has had some success. Uh, Kenyon Drake, as I said, James Cook remains to be seen, but... Pretty solid prospect there. Jalen Samuels. Alexander Madison's been pretty successful when he's gotten production. Kind of an interesting, you know, some comps there for his R score. Like I said, he was pretty unique in that level in terms of not really matching very many people in this particular rookie class for his R prospect score. So switching now to that machine learning model for Evan Hall, we can take a peek at some of his numbers there and find out what he looks like. We can see now that his mean is 10.79, 10.54 for the median, that minimum all the way down at 5.93, his max output 15.16. Getting into the percentile outcomes for him, we see that his 10th percentile outcome is 8.26, and then 10th, excuse me, 25th percentile outcome 9.45, 75th percentile outcome 11.82, and then that 90th percentile outcome at 13.74 with the M50 gap at 2.37. Give you an idea of what some of those numbers mean. The 10.8 range, that's actually exactly what Matt Jones and Boston Scott have had for their best season. A little bit higher than that, A.J. Dillon, Roy Hellu, Michael Carter, all around 10.9, 11.0. A little bit below that, Deonta Foreman, Elijah McGuire, Sony Michelle, Terrence West, Thomas Rawls. They're all sitting at 10.6 or 10.7. So that's right in the range for Evan Hall. Should he get 80 opportunities in a season? That's about the range that this is saying is a mean or a median outcome for Evan Hall. Getting into his maximum output there of 15.16. We do have C.J. Anderson in his best year, 15.1. Alfred Morris, 15.06. Elijah Mitchell, 15 exactly. And then a couple people in between 14.7 and 14.9. That's Tevin Coleman, Andre Ellington, Philip Lindsay, Latavius Murray. Some interesting guys there. Not too bad, but that's Evan Hall's ceiling. A little bit below, a little bit above Kenyon Drake at 15.2. Same with Danny Woodhead. Justin Forsett, Jordan Howard there at 15.3, along with Chris Thompson at 15.3. They're just below Tony Pollard's best season. So if Evan Hall maxes out, that's about what you can expect. And that's the kind of prospects that you can put your mind on in terms of mean and max outcomes for Evan Hall. He did test out very athletically, but obviously didn't get that draft capital. He finds himself in a 
particular situation there in Indianapolis where he's definitely behind Jonathan Taylor, but could spell him in some duties should Taylor find himself injured. Evan Hall certainly profiles as somebody that could get three three down back work and provide you with some pretty good outcomes for the season. Getting into terms of how he ranks in some of those for the rookie running back class of 2023, his mean rank 17th, median rank 20th, minimum rank 21st overall, maximum rank 19th best, getting into those 10th percentile, 18, 17, 20, and 16 for the 90th percentile range. And then his mid-50 gap rank was actually number 7 overall, which says he had the 7th tightest range between his 25th and 75th percentile outcomes. You know, his mean wasn't super high um, right there in the around the 20th ranked uh, highest one. But, you know, that's going to shrink those numbers and make them a little bit tighter anyway. But despite that, you know, his M50 gap was pretty narrow, which says, hey, this guy's not going to be super volatile. Should he get the 80 opportunities? We expect him to be in a fairly narrow range should that happen. And that's going to do it for today's rookie profile on Evan Hall, presented by Zilla Fantasy Elite. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hopefully, these models, the R Studio model and the machine learning model, can give you a little bit of additional information and help give you that extra confidence in making the decisions for all this analysis that you're doing for each incoming rookie uh, for your drafts going on this year. Appreciate the view, everyone. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Every morning with drive, been on the grind, know I had to survive. We had-